Hello everybody, in this video we're going to make a game and we're going to learn about a lot of the motion blocks. Alright, let's get going. And the way that this lab will work is we're going to give you some starter code and ask you to fill in some blocks. And when we're done, we'll have a game that looks like this. I use the arrow keys to move around, eat the apples, and keep score. And here are the blocks you'll need to know how to use for this program. The first is the green flag. This is how we start all of our programs. Every sprite should have a green flag. A new block that we're going to use is the change x by block. Here I'm going back and forth, changing x by positive 10, changing x by negative 10. And these changes are relative to where I am right now. We're also going to change y by positive and negative numbers. My video here is showing y going plus 10, minus 10. Again, these are relative to where I am right now. We're going to use the go to x, y block, which goes to an absolute position in the x, y coordinate system. These terms absolute and relative are terms that you'll run into again when you do web design. And finally, we'll use the point in direction block, which points the sprite in a particular direction. Note here that zero is pointing straight up, 90 points to the right, and negative 90 or 270 points to the left. All right, so we're ready to begin. I'm logged into my test account. I'm going to copy and paste the starter code into my browser. When I get to here, I'm going to remix. So now it's saved in my account. And the first thing I want to do is change the name of the file. So here it says 002, eat the apple starter code. I'm going to get rid of all of that and put my name on it. So underscore Dr. Wu videos tester. And after I do that, I will save it. So file, save now. And now I'm ready to begin. So the first thing I'll do is shrink my stage so I can see my code better. And let's begin. Here are my instructions. One, add a green flag at the very top before the set rotation style and the forever. Remember that every sprite should have exactly one green flag. So the green flag is in events. So I'll go to events. The flag is here. I'll drag and drop it in at the top and step one is done. Step two, under if key right arrow pressed, Add a point in direction block and a change x by block. The cat should point in the correct direction and move the correct direction. So before I do this, you'll notice that there's a whole lot of code here. These forevers, these ifs, these key right arrow pressed. You might know what to do. You might not know what to do. For now, I'm saying just ignore them. Our focus is going to be on the change x by blocks and the point blocks. All you got to know is that when I press the right arrow, it's going to do what's inside that if. All right, so back to the instructions. It wants a point in direction block. These are in the motion section. The point in direction is right here. I'm going to drag it in. And the directions wanted me to point in the correct direction. So is 90 correct? Well, I can click on it here, and you'll see it points to the right. And that makes sense. If I press the right arrow, I expect it to point to the right. The second thing it wanted me to do is a change x by block. So that's right here again in the motion section. Change x by. This will be a relative movement relative to where I am right now. It wants a movement of 10. I've changed x by 10. So now let's try it out. I expect that when I press the flag and then when I press the right arrow, it's going to point to the right and change x by 10. Let's see if it does that. It does that. Good. If I press left arrow, it doesn't do anything. And that makes sense, given that I have not put anything inside of this if. So I'll shrink the stage and go on to the next one. Three, under if key left arrow pressed, add a point in direction block and a change x by block. The cat should point the correct direction and move the correct direction. Hint, you will change x by a negative number. So we're basically going to do the same thing we did before, but reverse it. So once again, I need a point in direction, which is in motion, point in direction, and I'll bring that in. And as far as which direction I should point, I'm going to click on this field right here. You'll see if 90 is to the right, then minus 90 will be going to the left. I will also need a change x by, this is in motion, change x by, and this time I want it to move relative to where I am to the left. So to do that, that's a minus 10. So I will try that out. I'm going to stop what's going on before. I'm going to increase my stage size. I'm going to click the flag. 
And let's see if I press the left arrow, it points left and it moves left just as I expect. And the right arrow still works. So that's good. Four. Under, if key up arrow pressed, add a change Y by block. The catch and move in the correct direction. So this block is in the motion, and I'll have to scroll down a little bit to get to it. Here it is, change Y by. And if I press the up arrow, I expect Y to increase. I'm going to move up relative to where I am right now. So let's test it. If I press the up arrow, it moves up. So the down arrow will just be the reverse. I can duplicate this block if I want to. I right click on change Y by, I select duplicate, and I can slide that block in. And this time I want it to move by negative 10. So let's test that. Click the flag, right, left, up, down, and it all looks good. So now I'm at step six, under the green flag, and a go to X zero and Y zero. So the reason you have this is because I'm moving myself all around, but when I click that reset, that green flag, I want to start in a known position. And I'm not going to be in a known position if I moved all around. So I'm going to change this to zero, zero, and so that whenever I click that green flag, it starts me in the center. Along the same lines, I may be pointing in any which direction, but when I click that flag, I want my direction to be known. So I'm going to put the point in direction 90, that block will be right after the flag. So that's six and seven. So I'm gonna do this full screen now and try this game out. Let's see. So here I am, I'm moving my arrows around, I'm eating the apples. You'll see my score goes up. I will teach you how to do that later. We do it with something called variables. And I can play this for as long as I like. And it looks good, looks like it works. Again, I can auto grade this assignment, which I'm going to do. I will save a copy to my computer. I will open up another tab. And in that tab, I'm going to put a link to the auto grader. I'm going to select my lab. Then I'm going to select my grading file. Submit for auto grading. It passes all the tests, so I know I'm good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.